is going on my peeps your boy versatile is back with a video back to kind of talk to you about this fella right here the sony a7 III shazamo finally got it uh boom move me out the way uh bam 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 yes i got the sony a7 III you guys saw me unbox it you guys also heard me briefly talk about what i was waiting next to get for it in order to use it and that was some um, equipment, specifically a lens. And what was bundled with it was very nice from Amazon. Links will be down in the, in the description below. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're into gaming tech, some photography slash videography. I will try to bring some of that to the channel a little bit, just in terms of what I know and as I continue to learn. And if you just like chilling and hanging out, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments down below about what you think was in this box before I opened it. Your thoughts about what is in this box once I reveal it, the A7 III, game and tech, let me know down in the comments below. Now, let's put this camera to the side for now. I'm not trying to break this guy's expensive. <clears throat> let's get into this box. Now, if you order this on Amazon, you, it, it comes with a travel bundle. You get a bag, you get stuff in the bag pertaining to the camera or camera lens, like cleaning, uh, cleaning kit and all that type of stuff. So let's get into this bag. I thought it was worth the value. Now, a lot, some of you guys or a couple of you guys already started giving me some great advice and tips as to what lenses to buy and why I should buy these specific lenses. <laughs> as I have a full frame lens. Make sure y'all can hear me. What I was basically saying was, a lot of you, a couple of you guys down in the comments uh, on my last video, on my White Song Don't Glass video in the comments, let me know that you guys you know, thought it was cool. I, I wanted a camera and then started giving me some tips in terms of lenses. I have a full frame mirrorless camera, so I should definitely be trying to use full frame lenses to maximize the potential and performance of this camera. Now, of course, I'm learning that as I go in the lens I have, I think I still would have wanted anyway, even if I had to choose between uh, one particular lens or this one. So I'm still not mad at the lens I got because uh, for more wide angle based shooting in terms of like video and stuff, I believe this will still work. And how much of a factor it will be since it is in crop mode, we'll see as I use it and shoot it. But I definitely appreciate you guys sending me those tips because I will be trying to maximize and utilize those. So, the first thing I got was a memory card. I needed to get a memory card for the Sony A7 III because I don't have a big enough one or one that will perform well with the video coming from it. So I went and bought the Extreme Pro from SanDisk, a micro SDXC UHS-1 card with adapter. Now, my silly behind, you know, again, I'm learning as I go. Should have got a UHS-2 card. I can always get that again. <clears throat> but the nice part about it is I can use this in, a, in the adapter for the camera. This ran me, I think, 33 bucks on Amazon. 128 gigs, got uh, read speeds of 170, uh, write speeds of 90. And of course, I would have got UHS-2. I think those speeds go up to like 200 and 100 or something like that. So. Still, still a solid card nonetheless, but I need to get one ASAP so that way I can actually use the camera and keep the footage that I shoot on it. If I hold it like this, it'll get better. <laughs> All right, hopefully the focus works well on that. And then, there we go. Ah. Sorry, I'm set up is slightly weird or different today. I have the light set up and it's specific way so I can kind of capture as much of this as I can. All right, so that's now in the card and the adapter. Camera is off, don't need it on to do this. I believe it's on this side. Release that sucker and put in this in the UH. In the, in the. <laughs> okay, so card is in here. I'm not gonna turn this on until I actually put the lens in here. So let's get to that next, <clears throat> well, Let's get to whatever is in here, I should say. Clearly, this bag must be nice. All right. Let's see what it actually revealed to us first. All righty. So, in this, 
you get quality camera accessories. This looks like uh, a, did it tell you? On the back here? No, it does not. It's from Altura. That's who is linked up for this uh, purchase here or for, or for this bundle. So I'm guessing this is something that you could put your lens into. It's like a little carrying pouch for your lens. <clears throat> so this is definitely too small for a camera, I would expect. Yeah, too small for a camera. So. Boom. This is what it looks like. I love I have this trash right here. Let me put this mic down. So yeah, something just, just big enough for a lens. You know what I'm saying? This a black hole. Yeah, oh, it's comfortable too. It's nice and soft. Nice quality right here. So we're gonna stick this fella right here for now. I should bring you guys a little closer, huh? Tripod recently, gotta get a new one here. So the next thing we get is another camera strap. It's a rapid fire wrist strap. Oh, it's a wrist strap, okay. Quick release camera hand strap. So as opposed to the one you get from Sony, this one right here, which appears to be more or less a neck one, I think. It might be a wrist strap too, but <clears throat> you get one from Altura as well. Looks pretty nice. It's always good to have a backup just in case. Tighten it up on the wrist, or it's really for security if you really wanted to go there with it. So, you know, if you're holding it and it slips out the hand, it just dongles right off your, your wrist. They show you how to set it up with the directions. Boom. Y'all see that? Bounce, bounce, check on wow, wow. So you get a nice wrist strap, and I guess, yeah, you know, I believe you put it in here like that. And it's, you know, it's connected right here. Or you hook it somehow into something here. Or I guess you can replace boom, shebang, right? Or even better. If I can just open it here. So you can replace this little strap here with this one. Wow. And so now I guess you can somehow loop this on to something and voila. So that's neat. I won't be using this one for my tour because it seems a little too complicated. It's complicated, but I'll look at the directions. You get some cleaning cloths, magic fiber. Now I do, I have seen and heard, oh, they got a YouTube channel from Altura. Okay. Dear customer, thank you for your recent purchase. My name is Walter and I am the president of Digital Goja. Appreciate Walter from Digital Goja. Again, links will be in the description for our, their stuff on Amazon. Some of the stuff that I bought and, uh, you know, so you guys can check it out. You get a cleaning cloth. As I was saying, I have learned through reading, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, reading and uh, listening to other photographers, the easiest way to clean, oops, the easiest way to clean uh, the lens is just using a little air uh, air spray tool. Now this, I'm not gonna open. This is for a 67 millimeter lens. So you get a nice, uh, so this is what an actual lens holder looks like. That's dope. So if they have the proper size in here for my lens that I do have, that I will be showing you guys. So this little package I was talking about, the 67 millimeter uh, Altura photo, little package that I thought was like a, I don't know what I thought it was. This is where all the filters are. So shout out to Arturo for making this very hidden, but you get three filters. As I said, you get the CPL, the ND, and the UV filter. The UV filter is a good filter to put on your lens <clears throat> just for general protection. So that's what I'm probably gonna put onto it, just to, to, just to protect the lens itself. And of course the ND filter is to help in very bright settings and you wanna maintain a good focal, uh, you know, shallow depth of field or, or motion blur and stuff like that. The uh, ND filter is good for that. And the CPL filter is good for um, removing reflective elements uh, within a shot that you might be getting. So you can get a clear shot of the water. Uh, you can change, you know, get, you know, clouds in, in, in the sky. You get nice saturated colors. And then you even get like nice, unique, beautiful shots of water, uh, especially if you're still using the CPL filter. And it also helps remove like skin oils on your face because of the reflection. It will help your face or your skin to stand out in a much better way because of the way it's now polarizing the light. And that's what the CPO stands for, circular polarizing uh, lens or filter. So that's these three right here. I'm not even gonna take them out right now. I'm gonna take them off off camera, place it on in my camera, but I thought I'd come back and show you that real quick. And then I'm gonna show you one of this bag here real quick. 
So here's the cleaning kit tool I was telling you guys about. It's a little air pocket tool right here. This long piece here, I guess I can take it out. So you use the air. You can probably hear it a little bit. This is what you use to, if you guys can still hear. This is what you can use to just blow out all the dust and particles and whatnot uh, on your lens or I guess maybe even on the camera, you know, prior to attaching the lens. You don't necessarily have to use a cleaning cloth. And then you get a little tools right here. You get a little spray bottle or a spray top. So a little spray bottle, I guess it's probably, you can fill it with water to do some cleaning. And you get a little brush to wipe away any gunk or something that may have actually, or residue that may have actually attached itself to the lens. Then you get lens tissue paper right here. So all this good stuff will go in this bag once I show it to you guys. Once I get to it, I know y'all like, hey, get to the lens, bro. <clears throat> Here's the bag. It's a nice size bag. Getting bags, baby. Getting bags, getting bags. Ooh, ooh. Hey. All right, come on now. Let's get into the good stuff now. There we go. This is a nice bag. It's a nice size bag. Perfect for taking along for shooting. So, you know, you got your little strap right here that you would open or release. Yeah. Click up just like that. So you uh, uh, unattach this piece right here so you can get to the camera compartment area. And then you just unzip it like this. It's a nice little U-shaped zipper. Uh, there's two parts you would have to unattach. Uh, it's really secure so your stuff doesn't jumble around and whatnot in the bag. And voila. So you get a compartment, put your camera in over here if you wanted to, unless it fit in one of these pockets, but these pockets you can use. Maybe I should hold it like this. So you can put your camera, as I saw on the demonstration as a picture on Amazon, you can put your camera in this area right here. Is that the salt that just dropped out? Yep. And then you can put your lenses in these three pockets right here. Or if you have a camera that can fit in one of those and you, you know, however you want to rearrange it, Boom, you got the space right there. So this is a perfect, nice little starter camera bag. I'm gonna put my stuff in it, you know. It seems very, very nice. Um, clack up, clack up for now. Um, and then the top piece here, nice little pocket. Maybe you can put uh, some of the little tools, the little smaller tools in this little pocket. My fingers in right here, in here, and then and get this piece right here. And you can store some more stuff right here. Maybe some more little small tools. Or maybe you want to put another lens. Or maybe you can put your camera right here. Uh, got a nice little pocket back here as well. But you got this nice space in here for a camera, lens, any other accessories you may have. You know, maybe you have a hood for your lens, a lens hood that you, you know, maybe want to put in right there. And then it's nice and comfortable on the back. And how it fits. Oh boy. So, there's so many straps. All right, so basically, and I'm, I'm sure I probably would try to resize this. Um, fits around the shoulder like this, boom. And then you would grab, where'd you go? <clears throat> there's a piece that goes around your waist too, um, in which I would most definitely extend in this case. But that's basically what you do right there. And then, oh, this is confusing. Oh, okay. My silly behind. Ah. Now for the, for the finale, for the finale, if you want, you just carry a bag like this too. <laughs> and then you got another strap on the side here. You can tighten it, maybe you want, maybe you put a tripod or something, that's some water. You know, right here, right here for a monopod or a tripod. A you know, little additional little carrying spot. Nothing on this side, of course. So, then of which you also get a monopod. So, put the bag up here. You know what I'm saying? Bag up there like that for now. Don't fall. So, you get this nice little monopod here. Wow, 
It's nice too. You got your little screw top right here. And then you got um, this little point down here at the bottom that you know can maybe stick in the ground or get, kind of give you some balance if you're holding it on the ground. You can use it as a as a stick if you needed to. And then you got three levels of legs to, to drop it. Well, four really. Looks like it's four. Yeah. So this this thing can get tall. I think up to 55 inches. I think. So attach the, the camera, screw it on, and boom, you got yourself a nice little monopod. <clears throat> and it's pretty sturdy, feels like metal, um, or high quality plastic. <laughs> Probably some metal though, but it's solid, it's solid. So that's right here, and this all turbo bag right here. So all this comes with the lens if you buy the travel bundle. <laughs> yes. Y'all see that Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 for the Sony E-mount. This is the lens I got for my camera. I got it primarily because of the hype from Terry Warfield. I heard taking the T talking about it. I've heard several people talk about the Sigma lens as being very nice, a very solid choice, especially for video. All right, well, now I've also heard it, it was good for photos. I mean, you just get cropped in, of course. And of course you lose like 14 megapixels. So with the super 35 millimeter, I believe, uh, option turned on to avoid that vignetting as a result of using this on a full frame lens, you'll get 10 megapixel photos instead of the full 24 megapixel. So for the stuff I do right now, it's not as big of a deal, but by the time I get my next lens, uh, you know, if there is any quality improvement, you'll see it because I now have a full frame lens. But for now I'm rocking this F 1.4, all that good light wide angle, you get their uh, little, I believe, manual and a warranty stuff right here. You get the you know, contemporary, boom, 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 bop, bop. So this is looking pretty clean right here. Uh, oh, okay. You get the hood with it too? Okay. So you get basically how to, I believe it's how you perhaps may screw it on. Oh, that's how you screw the lens hood on, or the, the, the lens piece perhaps. You about to find out, okay? And then of course it give you the serial number and everything in here for this. This is what all this is for. It's some serious stuff right here. So let me put all this stuff right here for now, but it's not needed. <clears throat> what is needed? Oh, 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 oh! You know I got. I'm, I'm a, oh, okay. So the filter size is 67 millimeter. Okay, so. I could use that little carrying pouch for this then if I really wanted to. So let's get into it. Woo! Lord have mercy. Oh, so you do get the lens. I think this would be a lens here for it. First time dealing with all this kind of fun stuff, guys. Woo-wee. Alrighty. So no, this is not a filter. This is the lens cap. So I would imagine you pinch in. Yeah, so you would pinch in and place it on the cap like that. <clears throat> and okay, got this little zoomy feature. All right. So this is the other side of the lens cap. So without further ado, let's attach it to the camera. Oh boy, oh boy. Let me go ahead and do that for now. Woo. Let's go ahead and attach this to, all right. Don't want no, no dust or nothing like that to connect onto this. Well, before I do, let me see something here. Let me look at the directions real quick. All right, so. This is a lens hood that applies, you know, if you're out in the in the light and this helps with, uh, you know, unwanted flare or glare from bright, from the bright setting and to uh, uh, avoid like ghosted images, I guess. And so I don't have to put this on right now, plus I'm inside, and so it's not a big deal. And we'll see if I really actively use the hood, but it's nice to see that it was provided. So shout out to Sigma and Altura 
digital doja for this entire hookup. Let's put the lens on now. Oh. <laughs> Don't know which one I want to do first. All right. So I'm going to have to re rework some of this camera settings now that I have a lens to fully maximize my settings. So that way I can just point and shoot. Boom. And then, bow, you know what I'm saying? It actually looks pretty nicely sized. This is the Sony <laughs> A7 III, specifically the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 E-mount lens for my camera that I will be using. And you guys will see footage from this shortly. Hope you guys appreciate this unnecessarily long video. It will be cut down dramatically because right now the, the runtime is crazy. But hope you guys appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Ooh. I wonder if I should get a silver lens just for the sake of argument. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well. All right. Well, I'm out. Your boy Versatile is signing out. And until the next video. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. <gasps> Wait, boy.